I thought we were reading Read to Succeed, A Parent's Guide to Reader's Digest because that's a book apparently. Anyways, let's read. Read to Succeed, A Parent's Guide to the Reader's Digest. Best love books for young readers. Yeah, the contents. This is a shorter book. Introduction, where I read our classes. Our children are growing up in a challenging Change, challenging, changing world. In RC, they need to develop their curiosity, sharpen their intellectual skills, and gain the ability to communicate efficiently. Edge Gears grades that the best way you as a parent can start your child on the path of success is to in, instill the love of reading. In this increasingly complex world, reading gives your child the ability to understand and deal with the challenges of life. But how to instill this love? How to get children to choose reading over the other demands of their attention? That's how do I say introduce your children to the kinds of books that fill the light of educated children for generations? The classics. What makes a book a classic? Much of us read that book becomes a classic because it is timeless. But, but why have these books, particular books, have stood the test of time? They are still around love by our own time because each of them contains thrilling adventures, memorable characters, and valuable lessons that are as educational and entertained today as when they were, were written. Literature is one of the richest resources our culture has to offer today's generation of children. Maurice Digest Best Loved Books is an ideal way to choose ch ch child to this wonderful treasure. That's what's cool. Drawing here. There's a little art. Why well, Readers Digest Best Loved Books for Young Readers? The Readers Digest Best Loved Books for Young Readers, after all, is a collection of some of the best children's literature books. Literature books that have timeless appeal and proven value, and stories of adventure and romance, mystery, and danger. Children are born adventurous, born questioners. They want to know why and how, and also what if. The Readers Digest Best Loved Books for Young Readers appeals to that very quality by offering stories that uh, are adventures in comedy of age, hero tales, fantasy, mi mystery, and nature. With the Readers Digest Best Loved Books for Young Readers, you can give your children an adventure of the spirit they can hold in the palm of their hand. Also, the Readers Digest Best Loved Books for Young Readers, you can give your children an adventure of the... Oh, I read that. Also, the Readers Digest Best Loved Books for Young Readers are conden condensation. Condensation makes the book friendlier. Shorter length makes the book less formidable to the young reader. Potentially difficult wording has been removed without changing meaning. All the elements have made that make each volume in the series a classic are still present. The rich language models such as very characters that are there for your child to, to enjoy. The condensations in the readers are just best loved books series are not simplistic. They simply make the books more accessible to today's young reader. You know, boys and girls who don't like to read. Or are challenged or to overcome poor reading skills. The Sunday readers such as best loved books for young readers series is an excellent way to introduce the joy of reading to the re reluctant reader. One coming of age, every child's adventure. Your child's already begun his or her greatest adventure, the adventure of growing up. Your pa the path from childhood the whole is filled with twists and turns. By your child, do by your children do not have to travel it alone. They can enjoy as such life of characters as Joe March of Life, Little Woman. Tom S Sawyer at Hook Day, and David Balfour of Kidnapped. The people who spring from the pages of the books awesome. as vivid as your child will be in real life can provide both friendship or in recycle term, by the way, and gu guidance on your child's journey to adulthood. Coming, on, coming of age is the great adventure that all children share. For that reason, <coughs> The joys, frustration, and challenge of growing up and the great themes in children's literature. Six of the volumes in the Reader's Digest Best Love Books for Young Readers series were selected especially because they per portray the experience of coming of age in a way that will not only entertain your young reader, but inspire him or her as well. Mark Twain's Adventures of Huckberry Film and Adventures of Tom Sawyer, Louise, Louisa May a Cold Soul Woman, Robert Louis Stevens Kidnapped and Treasure Island, and Stephen Crane's Red Bridge of Courage. These books will help guide your child in, se in several important ways. First, they provide examples for your child to follow. Examples that make a lasting impression because as they teach, they entertain. Ch characters like Huck Finn and Jim Hines are very much like real children. 
So it's left off thinking, and sometimes that leads to trouble. But in each of the books, the characters draw uh, on inner strengths to resolve the problems that they get into, and they grow. Their example will give your boring girl a powerful lesson how to respond to the challenges of our puzzling, confusing world. Second, these books stretch your child's imagination. New books are revealed when your, ch when your children open these books. Wonderful people and places spring to life on their pages. The stories will not only broaden your child's intellectual horizons, but will impress him or her as well as with, as well with the powerful way, way words can express images and ideas. Third, these books will help your child understand what makes other people think and, and act in certain ways. Narcissists like Mark Twain and St Stephen Crane are renowned for their keen insight and the human nature they bring to their prose, helping young, your young reader to better understand what makes people act the way they do. With this understanding will come a new sphere of cooperation because the characters in these books face the same challenges as your young reader faces in growing up. A special bond is formed between you and your characters. Should imagine themselves in the character's place. Coming of age stories like that of David Balfour being great dangers on a quest to regain his inheritance to establish his own quality as an adult offer a keen anticipatory pleasure. Readers begin to gain confidence that they, like he, can successfully overcome the obstacles that stand in his way of achieving those goals. Knowledge and understanding, as well as sim the simple pleasure and entertainment that the Reader's Digest lo Best Love Book series gives to your young reader and among the most precious and helpful gifts your child can receive on the journey to maturity. Sometimes the journey towards maturity ends not only in obstacles sur surmounted, but also in treasures gained, as it does in Tom Sawyer. Sawyer. Readers repay an even more valuable war than Tom Sawyer Gold, because they come with these stories and tale enrich as well as entertain. These enthralling tales offer a wealth that surprises material goods. They satisfy the young readers' long longing for adventure and desire the young and desire to learn about the world. And by showing the value of playing for character and obtaining responsibility, making moral choices, and finding the courage to live up to the standards we set for ourselves, these best young bo love books for young readers vividly and powerfully illustrate the results of adulthood while helping children find the way. And, th and this guidance is by far the greatest treasure we can give our children. Mark Twain, The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. Tom Sawyer gives you, as a parent, the opportunity to discuss with your child the role imagination plays in growing up. One of the best known scenes in Tom Sawyer takes place when Thomas ordered to whitewash a fence. He doesn't want to do it, but instead of grumbling and shrieking, he finds a clever way to get the job done. He pretends that the dreary, ordinary task is a spectacular adventure. So on always Tom's narrow and are clamoring for a chance to share in the adventure. Some are even willing to pay for the privilege. Before long, Tom can sit back and take it easy while his friends do the work for him. Of course, while Tom's scheme is clever, is not very odd. Still, it raises an important point that you might want to discuss with your child. The power imagination plays in growing up. Remind your child of what he or she does when faced with a boring, unpleasant chore. Discuss what, how Tom turns an ordinary task into an adventure. Not only does Tom get his work done in record time, but he has something to show for it as well. Can your child think of a way to turn your a chore into something out of the ordinary? And of course, Tom Sawyer, however, Tom learns a painful lesson. That when he lets his imagination get, get the best of him, he acts irresponsibly. The result that is is that Tom hurts the people who love him. Leslie is driven home when Tom sees the sorrow of his own police face. He realizes the grief is matching his part of a veteran's cause. Like Tom, your child has probably had an experience where imagination has led into to trouble. By discussing this with your young reader, point out that while an active imagination can make life exciting, it can also hurt if if he or she acts without thinking of, in the pursuit of adventure. Mark Twain's The Adventures of Hickleberry Finn. By Huckleberry Finn. Huckleberry Finn took Mark Twain eight years to write Wow. Well, in some respects, as a sequel to Tom Sawyer, the book is a masterpiece in its own right. It's a book rich in material for parent child discussion. Huckleberry Finn teaches two valuable lessons to the young reader a lesson about the importance of making tough moral decisions and a lesson about loyalty to friends. And that'll be it for this video. We continue on to probably not be my skin.